Hey guys, it's Jeff and welcome to today's video. So about a month and a half ago, I unboxed and reviewed the $50 wireless guitar system from Amazon. It was the Must Lady 2.4 GHz system. Now when I shot that video, as I mentioned along the way, I'd only been playing with the product for a couple minutes. It was really my first impressions and just my initial review of the product. And now that I've given it some more time and I've played with it a bit and I've actually played some shows with it, I thought I would come up with a follow-up video, give you sort of my ownership experience of the Must Lady 2.4 GHz wireless system and see if I still recommend it after a month and a half of use. Now one of my main concerns that I voiced in my initial video was that it seemed to be picking up a bit of interference and I wasn't too sure what that was about. And I should have really known because it was written right on the box, but these things operate at 2.4 gigahertz, which means that any other device in your household that's gonna be operating at that frequency, it's subject to some interference with the wireless guitar system. Now these includes wireless routers, 2.4 gigahertz is very common for wireless routers. If you have wireless phones, like landline phones, but wireless, uh, they also operate a lot of times on 2.4 gigahertz. A lot of microwaves run on 2.4 gigahertz as well. So there's a lot of stuff in the household that can do some interference with this. In my case, it turned out to only be the router. As soon as I turned off the 2.4 gigahertz band, which I don't even use anyway, uh, the interference went completely away, so that's pretty good. But that's still something that you gotta be mindful of. If you're gonna be playing in a place where they have something running on 2.4 that can be turned off, or you're gonna use this in your household and you have a lot of 2.4 gigahertz devices, and they're picking up interference from the wireless guitar system or the wireless guitar system is picking up interference from them and then your experience might not be the best. The good news however is that when I tried it at my friend's place where he has a lot of 2.4 gigahertz equipment and it was getting a bit of interference even as I crank the volume and lose the distortion the interference was still sort of not that perceptible so it was still playable even with the interference when you would really notice it is when you would stop playing and you would still had the distortion on then yeah it would be fairly loud and noticeable but other than that it's not too big of a deal so I would say it definitely picks up interference but it can be managed if you either adjust your playing or if you're able to turn off the devices in the 2.4 gigahertz range that interfere with them uh, then you can easily circumvent that problem. Another question I had about the must lady devices was how long the battery would last. Would I be able to play an entire show with them? And so far I've been pretty happy. Uh, the longest I've played without recharging them is about five hours of playtime, either on stage or during practice or here at home just practicing. And that's never really gone out on me after five hours of play. So when they claim that it's gonna do six hours, I'm tempted to believe them. I would try it, but honestly, I haven't had a situation right now where I would need to play for six hours straight or more. Um, so it's really hard for me to just confirm outright that it can do six hours, but I can definitely confirm that it does five. And I really can't conceive of a situation where you would need these to last for longer than five hours before you get to charge them. Now one big concern that I had with the product that I couldn't really test when I did the first video was what kind of range I can expect out of it. And I've played now a couple shows with it and I've actually been in a situation where there was this big tent it was about 40 by 80 feet and the stage was in the middle and I actually went outside of the tent just to try it out and kept on playing and it actually never cut out so it's really impressive. And yeah, I'd say I gave it a good um, 40 feet of distance and it worked out great. A question I've had too in the comments in the previous video was, does it introduce any delay in your playing? And to be fair, when you're playing fairly close to your amplifier, I haven't noticed any delays. So there probably is a very minute amount of delay, but overall I'd say it's pretty good. The actual delay that bothered me most when I started getting further away from the amp is not so much a delay introduced by the bus lady, but more the delay introduced by just the sound carrying from my amplifier to where I was. So when I was playing outside that tent at that show I was talking about earlier, and I was outside and the tent was sort of blocking the amp a little, it started to delay, but it wasn't the mess lead that was delaying because the guys on stage, I didn't hear any delay. But where I was, there was a bit of delay and it started getting weird when I played it. So I would say not much delay from the must lady, but definitely some delay from the sound just carrying. So we're in a month and a half into my ownership of this $50 Amazon wireless guitar system. And I guess the question that most people want to know is would I still recommend it? In fact, I've already had I've already recommended it to a couple of you guys on YouTube and I even recommended it to one of my friends who purchased this set of gray ones. This also allows me to answer a question. If you have more than one pair of these, how does it go? Do they interfere with one another? Are there any problems pairing them? And the answer to both those questions is a resounding no. I've jammed with my friend using these two pairs and we've had absolutely no interference and pairing them was just a blaze. This one paired flawlessly as it always did. Uh, this one we had to actually hold the pair buttons to get it to pair. But again, that was sort of what to be expected. I guess this one was the one that was a bit weird on that front. So anyways guys, that's still a recommendation for me even a month and a half after I've originally purchased this. I'm still happy with it. 
it, I can still recommend that you purchase it. $50 isn't really all that much money for something like this, and it works great, so there's really no reason not to go for it. If I ever get more issues, I will keep you posted in another video, but for now, peace out, guys.